Hey there, today we are going to be making some elderberry and rose hips syrup. I have adopted adapted this uh, recipe from Betsy Miller's elderberry syrup. And so I will get started with showing you the ingredients. So we will be using a quarter cup of dried elderberry, a quarter cup of dried rose hip. We will also need a cup of honey, which I've already measured out. We're also going to need three cinnamon sticks and the um, grated skin of one lemon and a quarter cup of dried cloves. And we'll also be adding to this recipe a quarter cup of brandy. Now you don't need to add brandy. You can um, leave it without the brandy or you can use a tincture. And then you'll also need about four cups of water. So to get started, we are going to turn the stove on and bring the water, add the water. And we're going to add the elderberry as well as the rose hip. And we are going to bring this to a boil. So as you can see, the water has come to a boil, and what we're gonna do is just let this, we're gonna lower the heat and let this simmer for about 45 minutes. When we come back, we will add the spices and the honey. At this point, the water is boiling, um, and I'm really just stirring to check the consistency of um, the syrup. It's definitely thickened up a bit. The color has changed. Um, and the berries and rose hips are soft and so I'm just mashing it a little bit to help it along and um, we'll be ready to strain in just a few moments now we're ready to strain so I have a nut bag all set up in a larger glass jar and um, it's surprisingly easy to strain. Um, I thought that um, my mark was not going to fit in the bag, but it did, and so I didn't really need that second jar. But just when you're pouring, because we're not sure how much um, liquid will be evaporated, just make sure you have another container ready for straining. So at this point I realized that I needed gloves and regular gloves um, were not enough because the liquid was hot. So I had some brand new kitchen gloves, um, washed them, and I was able to use those to help squeeze out some of the liquid from the syrup. If you have a handy dandy herb press that would work just as well or you could just strain it and press use a large spoon to press okay now once we've strained it we're going to pour it back in here and as you can see it's pretty um thick well not thick it looks pretty um Concentrated is what I should say. And so now we are going to return the heat and now we're going to add the spices. Okay, so we are going to add the cinnamon. We're going to add the cloves. And then we're going to add the lemon peel.
once we've added all of those things, we're gonna simmer for another 15 minutes or so. Okay, we are pretty much done with the simmering. And right now we're gonna strain this and then we are gonna add the honey and um, the brandy and then we'll be finished. So at this point, um, the syrup is just about done. I'm straining using a regular strainer and um, really all that's left is for us to add the honey and if you are adding brandy, you can add that at this point as well. At this point, I had realized that my jar was a little too small, so I transferred everything back to the pot and really all you're doing right at this stage is stirring very well um, so that everything is incorporated and right there I will be adding the brandy and your elderberry and rose hip syrup is finally completed at this point once you're done you would pour into your jar um, label and allow to cool and then refrigerate for up to six months